guys, it's Amber. So I'm back to do another video. Sorry if I look a little crazy right now. I just took out my hair extensions and I just wanted to sit down and talk to you guys a little bit. Um, women to women, women to man, women to whatever you classify yourself as because my channel, I want it to be open to everybody. Um, this video, I want to talk about my weight loss journey. Um, since I was little, I, when I was a very little girl, before I had my tonsils and adenoids out at five, I never really ate much. I was always underweight, very small, um, and then I got my tonsils and adenoids out. I don't know if I could taste food better or what was happening, but, um, I just started to eat a lot. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of fast food, a lot of sugar. I was basically the average American child dealing with obesity and um, what really had changed my life was I got to a point you know all through my life I felt as if I was being made fun of and I felt as if people didn't accept me because if you don't look like a model on the front of a magazine you aren't you know beautiful in this world which is really messed up and you know, I was always the ugly one in the group of friends. Not because I was ugly, because I always, obviously, I love makeup, I love clothes, I love fashion, I love, you know, dressing myself up at whatever size I was at. But ugly because I didn't fit into a size zero back then, or a size double zero, and I didn't have a flat stomach, and I had rolls, and I had other embarrassing things that girls will hide under clothes and will never talk about but will cry about in their bedrooms late at night as they go to sleep. Um, I was made of fun of by family members to the point where I was so fed up with my life I decided I had a form I would say of bulimia but um, when I picture bulimia I picture like this really tiny skinny girl you know that they're, she's just you know pukes everything up and does her body doesn't get any nutrients. Me, myself, I was 250 pounds at my heaviest. And like I said, obviously my body was, you know, um, taking in something if it was maintaining, you know, all that weight. So that doesn't look much better. But again, natural hair. Um, but yeah, so I just got really fed up with my body and I tried every fad diet in the world, from starvation to the Jillian Michaels two-week diet to Nutrisystem, and I really want to thank my mom for everything she did for me because, you know, even though I was an only child growing up, even though I had half-brothers, my mom has always spoiled me and gotten me basically whatever I wanted in a sense, and, um... You know, now I really appreciate it, you know, working almost a 30-hour work week and going to school. I know the value of a dollar. When I was little, I really didn't because I was used to getting a lot because my mom didn't get a lot as a child. But, um, so I know what it's like to be, you know, a girl that just got everything she wants when she was a kid and that led to all the food that I want. And I'm talking about when I dropped my friends off after hanging out. I would stop at several, several, um, excuse me, fast food restaurants and, you know, like 7-Elevens, Wilson Farms, Tops. And I would just get junk food and different various fried foods. And I would eat them in mass consumption. Now, being a little kid, I was active, I would say, um... Not to the point now where I actually train to be fit, but, you know, I went to my Wednesday night dance class, my ballet classes. I was in competition cheerleading and hip-hop. I did midget football cheerleading. Um, but uh, then again, I was always that girl that even their large, everybody on the day when we got to take our uniforms home, you know, I had to stay after because they didn't have one of my size. So I remember, you know, being eight, nine years old, going to this place, and they made a special uniform for me. It was called Northside, and 
my uniform didn't look like the rest of the girls. My skirt didn't look like the rest of the girls. And I remember, you know, kids, they're mean, they're mean. And I would be at these um, football games and these girls would come up to me and be like, why do you look different than I do? Why? Why? And I didn't know what to say. And I remember this one time, this one girl was like, it's because she's so fat. And I just, I was actually eating at the time, something from the concession stand. And I just remember standing there and running to my mom and telling her and just bawling my eyes out. And I was like, mom, why, why does it have to be like this? And so I, after years and years of mental frustration, mental, you know, just beating myself up over stuff, I'm like, I really, this is it for me. I mean, I was 250 pounds, like I said, 5'1", okay, that's pretty short to be that much weight. I was basically a walking ball. Um, I found this company called Herbalife, and it absolutely changed my life. They make shakes, energy teas. Um, I'll have the link in the description box below, but basically... I went in for a consultation and they set up this meal plan where I had two shakes in a meal a day and they told me to incorporate exercise. So my mom got me an, a membership at the YMCA and I went in there. I'm going to do a whole other video on how to work out because I had no idea. I walked in there, got on the treadmill, set it at 2.5 and I started walking. After about five minutes, I was out of breath. I died. I was sweating profusely. I walked five minutes on the treadmill at a slow pace that probably a turtle could catch up with me, and I was dying. And that's where I started. That's where I looked at everybody else on the treadmill and the elliptical beside me, and I said, why are these people so much older than me, and they can go so much farther than me? Um... I just really didn't understand at that point, and then it finally hit me why I was just so, so out of shape, and I had to have somewhere to start, and that was my starting point, and I can honestly say to this day, I have trained myself till I can get on the treadmill or the elliptical, and I can go, you know, as much, as far as I want, I don't have a lip, my body doesn't have, you know, a, I stop before I reach my body's limit now because, I mean, I can go five, six miles and, you know, where do my day go and I have stuff to do, but, you know, you get to a point where you train your body and it's a building process and, you, and you're going to hit plateaus. I hit a plateau at 200 pounds, 200 pounds. I think of that number now and I want to cry, obviously, because if I gain five pounds, I think I'm dying, but... I'm just a hypochondriac when it comes to that because of what I went through with my weight loss journey. And honestly, I owe a lot of my um, weight loss success, not so much weight loss, but fitness. There's a difference between losing weight and getting fit. People that lose weight tend to do lots and lots of cardio. Um... People that are fit tend to know a mixture and a balance between cardio and weight training. And I do have to owe a lot of that to my fiancé. Um, when I first met him, I thought that going to the gym and going on the elliptical, and I met him about two and a half years ago, um, going to the gym and going on the elliptical was a suitable workout. And I... As I went to the gym with him and I started to go in the weight room because I obviously wanted to try to impress him and like tell him that I like lift weights and stuff like that even though I would go in there for like five minutes pick up something decide it's probably too heavy probably should go out and leave um he's big into weightlifting he knows a lot about it he researches it that's his thing so I kind of watched him and I you know, got trained by a personal trainer, and I worked with people that have done that before, and were big into, like, competitions and stuff like that, and, um, or the new people that were, and I learned, you know, my own ways to weight train, and it's become a part of my everyday routine. I researched myself. I'm going to do a whole video on 
how to weight train for what you want if you want to build muscle versus if you want to tone. Um, me, myself, I build muscle very well if I lift a lot. So my weight can range anywhere from 140 to 155 pounds depending on how much I'm lifting and how much I'm eating. One month I might want a carbo load and do a whole bunch of lifting while another month I might want to cut my carbs and do more cardio if I want to look like slimmer for something and not have as much muscle or want to fit into my jeans that I try to stay at a lowest size possible. So basically weight loss has become an everyday thing for me and I'm okay with that because I believe that you can't control a lot in life. You can't control you know, even if you wake up tomorrow, you know, somebody, God, he's a higher power, you know, he controls that. But you can control what you put in your body while you're on this earth. And I truly want to promote that, you know, besides all that, besides losing weight, besides being skinny, you're not going to reach your goal in one day. It's not going to happen. The weight didn't come on. For me, it took me 15 years before I did something um, for the weight to build up. It's not, it didn't come on overnight, and you're going to plateau, like I said. So um, you just have to keep pushing through, and like this video up if you want me to, you know, do videos on how to break through plateaus, um, nutrition videos on once you lose a little bit of weight, how to maintain the weight. Um, I can give you tips apps that I use. I log everything that I put into my body. I log into my phone. I know exactly down to the gram, um, down to the tenth of a gram fat that I'm putting in my body, the ratios I would like to have, carbs, fat, and protein. Um, just remember, you know, no matter what size you're at, you have to love yourself at the end of the day because you never know when, you know, your last day will be. My brother died at a very young age of 21, and I'm pretty sure that day he didn't know that that was his last day. And I'll do a whole other video on this, but literally, live for the day, love yourself for the day. Um, that was kind of a brief overview of my weight loss journey. I will do more in-depth ones as I explain to you different parts, so this is an, an hour video. Um, but like I said, comment down below on what part specifically you would like me to, you know, post videos about, if it's meal prep, um, I can um, review different types of proteins and how they affect my body and how long they keep me full, I can do my daily eating routine, I can do my healthy snacks, so I want you to comment down below your favorite healthy snack, so maybe you can give some tips on what you like when you want to be healthy and you're a little hungry and maybe give me some tips and we can just all share tips and become beautifully fit together. So have a great night, day, whatever time you're watching this and stay loved, stay happy, stay beautiful, and stay fit.